एवरीवन आई एम नंदिनी चावला फ्रॉम कलिंगा यूनिवर्सिटी टुडे वी हैव विद अस डॉक्टर मनोज सिंह एचओडी जूलॉजी डिपार्टमेंट सो वुड यू प्लीज इंट्रोड्यूस योरसेल्फ गुड मॉर्निंग आई एम डॉक्टर मनोज सिंह आई एम हैविंग अ रिसर्च एक्सपीरियंस ऑफ 10 इयर्स एंड फॉर लास्ट 5 इयर्स आई हैव बीन एसोसिएटेड विद कलिंगा यूनिवर्सिटी एंड आई एम होल्डिंग द पोजीशन ऑफ हेड ऑफ द डिपार्टमेंट ऑफ जूलॉजी ओके सर सर सो माय फर्स्ट क्वेश्चन टू यू इज you have held key positions at educational institute throughout your professional career what keeps you connected with the education sector and how has your experience been so far with the institutes so uh, teaching and learning uh, along with the research is the mandate of our university and uh, in during this process we get the opportunity of interacting with the young mind, young minds and in that course we keep on up uh, lifting our knowledge as well as we keep on trying to uh, uh, evolve the students uh, in terms of the research aptitude so this is a sort of a dual benefit for us as well as for the students and this also keeps us motivating for exploring newer and newer domains of research uh, uh, which uh, gives us an added advantage and the best part is like kalinga university is uh, providing all the open space for exploring all the research uh, ideas of yours as well as for the students so this support which is provided by the higher authorities of of our university helps us in executing our uh, dreams okay sir so being the hod of zoology department of kalinga university what are your roles and responsibility towards the students so as an hod i have this responsibility of uh, Uh, taking the department to newer and newer heights, and uh, in that course, we do keep on uh, doing some of the other activities, uh, like in terms of projects. The department is ha- currently having two research projects from Chhattisgarh uh, Forest Department, in which uh, we are uh, uh, studying the diversity of Chhattisgarh in two different divisions. Along with that, uh, the best part is like the um, uh, expert. Uh, faculty members which are part of the department they uh, are from uh, various uh, higher education uh, you know, universities like uh, we are having faculties from john hopkins university uh, similarly we do also have faculties from kent uh, university usa similarly i also belong from a university which is renowned for its uh, credits so these uh, credibilities are the best part which enhances the department to achieve uh, newer and newer heights along with that like the cordial relationship which is there with the staff and the students it provides a very uh, peaceful environment for uh, uplifting everyone's uh, uh, research aptitude as well as their knowledge and the most important thing for us as a faculty member is like to prepare our student for their future endeavors and uh, the future uh, challenges which they are about face uh, so preparing them for the better uh, future okay so do you have uh, any extra curricular activities or programs to enhance the skills of the students or do you have something to expose them to the real world challenges like i have said earlier like learning with real life examples or uh, is the best part uh, how we can teach science so uh, like i will share an exam um, a few instances with you like uh, in, during the covid period we prepared uh, hand sanitizer we prepared hand wash even toilet cleaners and floor cleaners that too with the cooperation of our students only so in this way uh, we uh, keep on uh, in, uh, incorporating newer and newer uh, things into the curriculum which is not exactly the part of our uh, study curriculum but we do keep motivating the students to uh, explore newer and newer domains as well as along with that like uh, we also keep uh, taking students to field excursions and they are also been taken to nature walk bird walks or insect collection things which uh, creates an uh, curiosity among them and they also come very close to nature by which they can understand the relationship of a human with the nature so this i think this uh, makes the student more of a better human rather than anything else right so so what are your views on uh, the curriculum of kalinga university like how does it ensure that students are being prepared for the future 
uh, on that aspect like i like to say uh, upgrading the curriculum is the most important thing for any uh, education institute and uh, we mostly focus uh, on an amalgamation of theoretical as well as practical knowledge so we mostly give emphasis on um, uh, more practical exposure to the students like uh, uh, to take them to the field or to expose them to the instrumentation setup which with which they can actually explore uh, newer uh, fields and they can have their own uh, ideas to work on and similarly uh, we have incorporated case studies uh, in the curriculum which uh, gives them uh, a sort of a uh, place to have their uh, explore their technical skills and to um, uh, uh, attain those research problems so in this way uh, also the students are uplifted and recently we have upgraded the uh, uh, syllabi uh, in that way that in the final semester the student has to do complete dissertation full dissertation six months so this gives a uh, complete time for the students to uh, uh, bring its own uh, research aptitude and they also get fully indulged into the research field of their interest so this way they are able to explore their own uh, field of interest and by this i think they are able to prepare themselves for the future research uh, field which uh, will be there uh, in coming time and uh, the value added courses are also an uh, additional uh, feather in their cap to explore the entrepreneurship skills okay sir so how do you try to bring in tactical approach towards subjects and uh, make it industry oriented so uh, like conducting workshops training programs uh, for different streams of uh, sciences is the uh, the best we do and uh, in that part we used to bring in lot many experts from different uh, part of the country and due to which they are able to interact with some of the eminent uh, persons of their uh, of the respective fields recently we had concluded a workshop on microbial and biochemical techniques in which 60 participants from different part of the country have uh, participated and uh, they have got chance to interact with uh, some of the uh, um, uh, eminent workers of microbial and biochemical uh, field similarly we uh, take students for uh, 10 days for 7 days field excursion to different part of the country like we have visited uh, alipur uh, national uh, alipur geological park in kolkata Uh, Indian Statistical Institute in Kolkata. Similarly, FRI Forest Research Institute in Dehradun, the uh, Wildlife Institute of India in Dehradun. Similarly, uh, National Institute of Ethnology in New Delhi. Uh, so, uh, in this field, uh, the list is very big. So, we keep on taking the students to these uh, places, uh, which are uh, very much uh, uh, higher in credits. in terms of their uh, research output. So, the students are able to understand the concepts. more uh, better by interacting with the uh, experts of this uh, of the respective fields similarly we offer students uh, to do their own experiments for the dissertation in which they have the opportunity to explore the instrumentation facility of of kalinga university which uh, is having very highly sophisticated instruments from scanning electron microscope to uh, xrd to ftir and similarly we have workstations which uh, provide an advantage on uh, doing modeling stuff uh, like ecological modeling something like that so these all things provides them a better uh, understanding of the uh, subject as well as uh, they ha- they have more confidence in their own field so uh, this hands on experience is like a sort of a complete package which prepares the student for the future endeavors all right So, what are the interventions and approaches you bring in apart from the curriculum to train and teach the students? In this regard, like uh, the most important is the collaboration which the uh, university is having with different uh, institutes. For example, like we are having a uh, collaboration with the forest department of Chhattisgarh. Similarly, we are also having uh, an MOU with the Chhattisgarh Council of Science and Technology. similarly uh, the, uh, we do send our students to college of fisheries and other uh, institutes of uh, our uh, areas uh, in which the students are getting uh, field experience for i'll give you an example like uh, in 2019 uh, 
the students uh, went for a international conference on biodiversity meet which was uh, organized by the indian statistical institute kolkata and there our student participated and presented their paper recently in 2022 our students have participated in an another international conference on uh, recent advancement in chemical sciences uh, which was an online mode so there also the students have presented their research work so this way we keep on encouraging our students to uh, keep on uh, presenting their work keep on exploring their new uh, fields so that uh, they are well prepared and uh, these all uh, events actually provide them the chance which i have told you earlier to meet eminent professors and scientists and that too from across the world not only in india from other parts of the world also and uh, as i have told you like uh, uh, value added courses uh, on apiculture uh, aquaculture vermicomposting these all things uh, prepare or they provide self sustaining or entrepreneurship skills uh, to the students for having their own future startups okay what would you like people to know about your institute about kalinga university that they may not know so the most important thing about kalinga university and especially in terms of science it will be uh, the central instrumentation facility of our university which is having very high end sophisticated instruments like scanning electron microscope x ray diffractometer high performance liquid chromatography fourier transform infrared spectroscopy uv visible double beam spectrophotometer and uh, uh, semi automatic biochemistry analyzer so the list is very long so these type of instruments are available in the central instrumentation facility where uh, the researcher research scholars of our university as well as the students the uh, post graduate and undergraduate students have uh, a chance of uh, doing their own uh, work research work on these highly sophisticated instruments so this uh, is a very uh, high advantage of uh, to our students also uh, not to our only students like we also share these facility for uh, um, in institutes and universities around in chatisgarh so uh, even the research scholar from other universities also uh, bring uh, come up with their samples and do analysis on that facility so this is the most important thing uh, which in terms of science is for the kalinga university all right what do you see as the greatest uh, strengths of kalinga university so that will be our students uh, and our highly qualified faculty members and the world class infrastructure uh, along with that the uh, green campus which the university have uh, just to point out one important thing on from the uh, environmental perspective like the university is blessed with the uh, 45 different species of birds and nearly 112 species of insects and 15 species of reptilians uh, uh, along with that we have organic farm uh, botanical garden cactus garden uh, so these all things make us a very uh, environment friendly uh, campus also and uh, the products of our organic farms are being utilized by the hostel students so this is a sort of a win win condition for everyone over here and uh, the most another important thing is the freedom which is provided for the uh, to the faculty members as well as to the students for exploring their own area of interest that is what is the best part and uh, this is well justifiable by in terms of the publications the number of publications the the, uh, the faculties have produced and the number of patents which we have filed in past few years okay what are some of the biggest challenges that you see both for the higher education in general and for kalinga university specifically to mention here like i'll say uh, we are situated in the tribal state of india so we are basically deprived of uh, like uh, biotechnological food processing or pharmacy based industries uh, in our state right now so uh, the employability probability is uh, very much limited uh, in that terms so i think if the government can provide more and more resources for the industries and uh, higher education in terms of sponsorship or uh, projects and fellowship it will be very grateful to us okay so do you have any suggestions that you would like to give to the current youth and the aspiring students of uh, kalinga university 
so my last word would be like uh, if you want to succeed in your area you should pursue those things which fascinates you and for which you can give your the, uh, give the best so uh, in that since you uh, should also keep on learning newer and newer skills because those skills will make you re- prepared for the future problems or future uh, issues and uh, that will also provide you an advantage of having a very versatile uh, uh, profile and which will uh, open newer and newer domains for your uh, future so uh, also keep on exchanging your ideas with your peers and your colleagues because uh, sharing is the best thing uh, for uh, your development and have a very good network of good friends uh, from different fields so that will be the thing okay all, all right sir thank you my pleasure thank you so much